What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Chantal has put up a new vlog and you know honestly there's a lot to talk about with it. More than I actually thought there would be at face value because first and foremost we've got a new Hamio and this Hamio really has this horrid drawing concept voiceover. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It's meant to mock a 1990s Sears commercial. She welcomes us back, where of course we're starting with food, and we have comfort food, that being soup. So the reality is, we know Chantal has used the term comfort food to have foods that she's not supposed to have. She also likes to throw in the term homemade, despite it coming from a restaurant. The reality is, 90 days ago, she was talking about being in Kuwait, doing a whole cooking series, probably 200 180 days ago, she was in Thailand, talking about how much she wanted to go back and start a cooking channel. Yet here we are, expecting to believe she's sitting in a restaurant, getting the smallest cup of soup in the land, crumbling two crackers into it, and leaving satisfied. There's no way. We get an ad less than a minute into this vlog, and we see her in the car. She looks at the camera a lot, and I mean a lot, when she's driving. Too much, as a matter of fact. And she said, we're going to see a church that is burnt down. She goes through the history of the church, its importance, historical significance to the culture, and then, for someone that hasn't done any editing on her vlogs, the couple's channel vlogs, she elects to use an overlay of a fire showing the church. It's an odd time, really, to start taking that next step into editing when you're talking about a devastating community event. And to that point, I do find it a bit strange that if she's going out and doing these vlogs, why aren't some of these going over to the couple's channel? Why isn't Sala taking the Wish SUV out around town and doing the same thing? It just seems like, as she mentioned before, things are so boring that she's just finding ways to encapsulate that boring into a vlog. And that really is evident by what she's doing, because we get B-roll of her driving, holding the camera out the window, from the 2 minute and 38 second mark to the 3 minute and 53 second mark. We get only narration of, I love it, and this is the town we're entering. We see her stop in front of a, quote, cool house, where we see the historical placard, and we're told we can, quote, pause and read it if we want. And to me, this shows, there's no planning, there's no care, there's no effort. She was driving, she saw something that she thought would be a great way to fill time, and that's exactly what she did with it. Because from the 4 minute 28 mark to the 5 minute 47 mark, all we do is show driving with B-roll and music. We stop once to see a tree that she loves. And ironically enough, during this drive, yet another car passes her. And I really do find this strange, because we've now seen three cars passing her, while she's out and about driving. Think of the last time a single car passed you. Now think of the last time three cars passed you in two days. I know there's a lot of people that talk about her size, whether she can capably control the car, whether she can reach the pedals properly based on how far back the seat has to be, but you're never going to tell me that something isn't wrong. Because all the driving we saw before I don't ever recall a car passing her on a single lane road, and now it's seemingly happening all the time. Now she does get to the building. She sets up in the parking lot. She goes over the same exact story she did in the beginning, and then we see, you know, kind of the building as she's walking up to it. She's breathing into the microphone, and because she did not plan anything, like I mentioned before, they're closed. She has to film through the bars. She shows the on-site cemetery, she kind of follows around a little bit, and then she says there's someone else filming there as well. And while sitting there and talking about meeting this gentleman, she kind of has this epiphany about her love for vlogging and how it's the modern art, how it's media mixed with entertainment, and how she loves watching vlogs and mixing reality with entertainment. And to be honest with you, Chantal, if you're watching other vlogs, you should be actively taking things from them. You should be looking at edits, camera angles. There's so many things. I really was surprised when she said that she met someone there that was also vlogging, that she didn't offer, hi, my name's Chantal, I have a channel, Foodie Beauty, 90 plus thousand subscribers, I'm here to vlog, can I see what you've done? Can you give me some tips? 
can you show me your channel? And then show that person's channel and say, listen, this is the person that I've met. We're going to maybe work together. Maybe he doesn't know the type of person I am. But I can use and learn from another vlogger because Chantal making videos like this is not going to work. He then pivots to this very odd point about how she can be there despite being Muslim because this is her documenting something. But the reality is we've not seen her at a mosque. We've seen her at more churches now than we have in mosques. He then carries this over into this concept of wearing the sweater as opposed to the abaya which we really had not seen since she came back to Kuwait. And the last three minutes of this are filled with her going back over Kuwait, Canada, living in different worlds, missing her family, missing Salah, missing the pets. Who is it, honestly, that keeps asking these questions? She has went over the two different cultures at nauseam. We get it. What I would like to see would be you telling us that Salah understands, and Salah took the pet. Julia, to get fixed, because that's important to the community. But instead, he's clearly sitting at home, doing nothing, trying to be a reaction channel. All of the things, Chantal, that the community has pushed back against are all things you could easily fix, all things that you have total control over. The reason people get frustrated with you is because rather than do anything, someone suggests, you do what you want, and then you get frustrated that people don't watch or suggest otherwise. People gave you tons of suggestions of what they wanted you to do, what they wanted to see. No one said, let's go look at an abandoned church. You decided that on your own. Now, when you sit there and talk about the smoky winter air, the environment, the pine trees, that's fine. But why aren't you out filming those things? Because if we go back to the vlog today where you were pretending like you had worked out in the park, but you were just feet away from the car, and then today where you go out to film something and seemingly you just walk 25 to 30 feet, what do you think that's accomplishing? Listen, if you want to go eat horrible foods and then post yourself up in a park and pretend like you've been working out, that's on you. If you want to drive to Landmarks, and barely make it to the entrance, and pretend that you're filming or vlogging something, again, that's on you. But to cap this whole video off with jokes about none of your members or people in the community following through on New Year's resolutions, Chantal, you honestly have no room to talk. You have all the time in the world. You should be making world-class documentaries. Remember a couple years ago when we were talking to you about showing people in your vlogs when you shouldn't do that, and you brought up so many different travel channels and said, well, these people all show people and they don't get any pushback. It's just me doing it. I'm the one that has people calling me out because I'm showing people without asking for permission. Chantal, you've had all the time all the resources, all the income to be able to go out and actually make vlogs of that quality, you refuse to do it. As a matter of fact, the person today you saw with a gimbal, maybe you should have approached them and said, hey, what type of gimbal are you using? Do you mind if I look at that? Do you mind if I try that? Can you talk to me about what it's added to your content? Because I'm at a position now where I'm trying to vlog more and want to create things that are more endearing to my viewers because I spent 30 minutes in my car today talking about how boring I am. And that's reflecting in the content that I'm making, the views that it's getting, and the engagement that I have on my channel. I'm going to leave you with the top comments from the last video. I appreciate you watching this one. And you know, just like Chantal, making a pointless vlog that she came up with in 30 seconds and randomly stopped along the way, there is no way that I will not be back as soon as I can with more content.